Hey, Jimmy Beach here with Alien Skin Software. In this video, I'll be focusing on the shape effects in iCandy 7, which are primarily used on logos and titles. These effects need to find the edge of a shape which you provide in the form of text, layers with opacity, or with a selection. Let's begin. I have a file open in Photoshop with a text layer. Let's dress it up with the extrude effect in iCandy. I'll select the layer and then I'll go up to Filter, Alien Skin, iCandy 7. Press OK when it asks you to rasterize it. iCandy remembers your most recently used effect. That's what will show up first in the preview. I'll press the Effect button in the upper left corner and choose Extrude. If you're not sure what look you're after, open the Disclosures and use the Navigator to quickly scan through the previews. I'll choose Short, Left, No Taper. The preset looks good on its own, but I'm going to make a couple of tweaks. I'll add just a touch of taper and a little bit of smoothness. Some effects, like Extrude, have extra controls in the preview for direct manipulation. With these in-preview controls, I'll adjust the direction and the distance just a touch. I'm happy with this look, so I'll press OK. Notice that iCandy duplicates the layer before applying the effect. This is one form of non-destructive editing. It means that you aren't damaging what you started with. You can go back to your original text layer and try another look. Shape effects are most easily used on an object in its own layer. I'll press Ctrl and Tab to switch to another open file in Photoshop. Notice that this layer has an opaque object with transparency all around it. I'll select the layer and run eye candy. Under Effect, on the shape side, I'll choose Shadow. Again, if you're not familiar with the chosen effect, open the preset disclosures and scroll over the titles. The navigator, down here, will make a quick preview of each one. Let's poke around to see what types of shadows we can create. I'll go with Wide in front. Before I make customizations, I'll set the background color, right here, to white. It makes subtle effects like this easier to see. Right now, the shadow is a little dark. I'll lighten it up with the overall opacity slider. I can adjust blurring behaviors as well. Perspective blur intensifies the farther it is from the object. Fade out adjusts the opacity in a similar fashion. And now I'll press OK. Again, it's non-destructive. My original layer is 100% safe. The third way to show a shape effect where to draw is to make a selection. And this lets you apply the effect to just one of the objects in the layer. I'll press Control tab again. This file only has a single layer, so I'll make a selection first. I'll press W for the magic wand tool. I'm going to select just the eyebrow. That's simple enough. Now let's run eye candy's fire effect. In the presets, I'll disclose large and hover down the list. Hmm. I'll go with sooty. Now the only change I'll make is with the random seed button right here. This will give you some nice looking variations if you click it a few times. There, that looks good. I'll press OK and we're all done. And that's all for this video. We just covered three ways to use the shape effects in iCandy. This is Jimmy Beach. I'll see you next time.